a bag of trash here. Well, um, I just uploaded that uh, video, uh, the part two of the building the full armor, everything else that's in the title. I'm sorry, I'm very tired right now. Um, pretty much I decided I was going to freehand camouflage, uh, tire camouflage on this to save time. Uh, I did a little work with my airbrush and even with my smallest set of jets I've got it still is too thick for what I'd like to do. Um, so I'm going back to my safety stripes. Uh, pretty much I've already followed this body line right here and right here on this, the same line on the opposite side of the arm and I'm going to stripe this right here. The way that I'm doing this is I've got the tape stuck to my mirror right here. You might remember my review mirror. Uh, and I'm just using a straight edge laying it up against right here and just trying to stay uniform with my stripe sizes. I've already got some cut right here. Um, I'm very much in rush mode. Things are not very conducive for model building around here lately. So right now it is 10 minutes to midnight. I gotta get up and uh, go to church in just a couple hours and I'm striping a kit. But, you know, what you gonna do? It's all for fun. And you see how I'm just doing, laying it out. Um, what I'm planning on doing is doing the outside of the arms right here, the top right here of the uh, the add-on armor, and these panels with the uh, caution stripes. And I'm going to be painting the hatch right here red, and just uh, freehanding the hinges right there in silver. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and I liked how the green and the yellow work together so I'm going to take this green right here hopefully this green works well I don't have a dark green that's airbrushable and these little bumps right here and also in the back I'm going to do in green Let go of that. And also, the calf portion of the leg, I'm planning on doing in green. And also this pod right here, which I have feel so stupid over this right here. I have no idea what happened to them, but underneath the knee, there are four of these little thrusters and they go right there like that. I was unpacking everything from offshore and this is the only one I have. So what I'm going to have to hope is that it's, you know, a bunch of people add little uh, plastic plates. I'm going to have to hope that that right there looks like some add-on armor because I have no idea where the little thrusters are and even though I've been wanting you know an excuse to try and copy something with uh, like some epoxy I have absolutely no time to do that whatsoever so I'm gonna have to just go with trying to pass that off as armor and the large thruster on the side of the leg. Um, actually, I think it looks good like this. Uh, I don't know. Y'all, y'all, let me know something if y'all think that me leaving, you know, because to me this looks good. The thrusters that this thing has, 
are kind of big and gangly looking. And once again, like I said, I'm trying to go for a El Cheapo knockoff Gundam look. You know, not so much that it is a knockoff, just that, you know, I don't know if it was Anaheim Electronics that built the original Gundam, but uh, whoever it is building it isn't putting top grade components into this because it's going to private contractors who are just going to be going and clearing out debris fields. So uh, anyway, uh, let me get back to striping. All right, and one half hour later, I am done striping one arm. So yes, what I said I'm going to be striping is it. That is all I'm going to be striping on this kit. Um, check back with y'all shortly. Well, I've got the other arm striped, and despite the fact that I was certain I was making better time, it also took me almost exactly a half hour. So, that's what I get for trusting my internal clock. But anyway... Um, it's about one o'clock in the morning. I'm going to bed. I got, like I said, I got a barbecue to, I got to go to tomorrow, and really today for the first time, I'm really having doubts that I'm actually going to finish this in time for the contest. Um, I'm still going to continue working on it as I can, but it's it's going to be tough because I'm. I've only got two days left. Of course, I don't know. I haven't done any work at all on the accessories. But I might be able to just phone that in. If I can get the detailing good enough on the main kit. So, we'll see. 